Dr. Moss and I are visiting Myriad Gardens in Oklahoma City. Justin, Oklahoma City has a new water conservation plan. Tell me a little bit about that. That's right. Just recently, last year actually, Oklahoma City uh, created a new water conservation plan for their city utilities customers. And basically what they developed was a, a plan based on several stages based on the amount of available water they have in the city system. And so they're always in stage one. And if the city system has 50% or above water, it's stage one. And what that means is that homeowners can only irrigate every other day. And that's based on their, uh, basically their address. If they have an odd numbered address, they can water on odd days, even number address on even days. And then as the water levels go lower and lower, below 50% actually goes to stage two, which means people can only, only water uh, two days per week, mm -hmm. it goes to 45% stage three, which is one day per week, 40% stage four, which is hand watering only, and anything below that would be a ban on all outdoor water use for city utilities customers. And as we are continuing to experience drought conditions, we're getting closer to that stage four. Uh, we're going to start seeing some stricter restrictions on watering. That's right. It's very possible this, this year, this summer, could go uh, to those stages and that's going to affect how much people can use water outdoors. And so in response to this, you've been partnering with um, Myriad Gardens and the City of Oklahoma City, uh, OSU, working together to work on some education for homeowners. And we're actually in the part of Myriad Gardens where they've already had some xeriscape planting in their designs. And so what are you doing for the education component? So basically what we've been allowed to do here is create a signage program because uh, the Myriad already has lots of beautiful plants, lots of uh, beautiful, whether it be plant materials, mulches, hardscapes, just kind of how to do everything and, mm -hmm. and make a water conserving garden. So we, we uh, created just a signage program. Here's one of the signs here and it talks about seven basic principles and those principles are landscape planning and design, uh, soil quality improvement, plant selection, uh, functional turf areas, efficient irrigation, and then the use of mulch around your plants, and then lastly um, appropriate maintenance to keep those plants alive on less amount of water. And so throughout the gardens you have one sign on each of these topics and the hope is that as people are here experiencing the beautiful gardens and enjoying they'll also stop and learn a little bit as well. That's right and we've got on our signs there's a little QR code so if somebody has a smartphone or a tablet they can scan that and it'll take them to our website. We have a couple websites actually. One specifically for Oklahoma City Utilities customers. It's called squeezeeverydrop.com. Mm -hmm. And they can go there and get a lot of information that we've created that talks about how to have a nice landscape but still save water outdoors. Also, we have one more statewide base for folks not in Oklahoma City. It's called thinkwater.okstate.edu. Same type of information. We call it Think Water because we want people to really think about how they're using water. And we want people to know that um, Water conservation is not a drought management technique. In other, word, in other words, when people talk about drought, they say, oh, we need to start conserving water. And we want people to say, no, we should use water wisely all the time, whether right. it's a good or a bad year. Uh, we want to responsibly use water, think about how we use water. Excellent. And you've also produced a number of fact sheets uh, that homeowners anywhere in the state can turn to and learn more about responsible water use. That's right. They can go to either one of those websites, squeezeeverydrop.com for Oklahoma City folks or Think Water, uh, or just go to our OSU Extension website, osufacts.okstate.edu. A lot of websites there, but basically we have uh, a couple of new publications. One is, uh, we call it E1037, and it, it talks about and shows you pictures of a lot of nice drought-resistant plants for mm -hmm. Oklahoma. And then also we have one called E1038, and it talks about basically the seven principles we have in our signage. So this, these signs that are out here uh, are the small tidbits, but you can actually go get a whole guidebook and download it, and it's got everything there right at your fingertips. Excellent. Well, it's, I've seen the publications. They're beautifully put together and a lot of great information. So thank you so much. All right. Thank you.